Hi, this is Jeffrey, and today I wanted to take a look at a model that I bought back in the mid-1990s. This is a brass model of a Manhattan elevated car, and these trains also ran on the Chicago and Southside Rapid Transit system. New York and Chicago both had these cars. I guess they were pretty much identical or close to identical. And this model is made by MTS Imports, which used to produce very detailed brass models of traction uh, prototypes, trolleys, subway cars, uh, elevated cars, uh, and maintenance of way equipment. So let's take a closer look at this model and let's start with the box. When you collect brass model trains, it's very important to have the box, especially a box that's in very, very good condition because that also helps in the resale value of these models. Now, this box that I have here is in absolutely perfect condition or near perfect condition. As you can see, the styrofoam inserts are very soft and that's very, very important to have the styrofoam inserts to be in very good condition as well as the outside of the box. And there's a styrofoam insert that goes on top of the model and that too is in very, very good condition. There's a label on one end of the box that says Manhattan Elevated Chicago and South Side Rapid Transit Elevated Car Unpowered. It's made by MTS Imports Incorporated, PO Box 50, Middletown, New York, 10940. But they actually subcontracted all of their models out to manufacturers, mainly in Korea, maybe also Japan. So this one is made in Korea by Han In. And on the bottom of the box, the price is still there at $145. Now, this is an unpowered trailer car of this Manhattan elevated train. Now, there were two versions produced by MTS. One was the trailer, as we have here, and the other was a motored car. And the motored car, I remember, had marker lights uh, on the roof and possibly some other details, but they were very, very similar. Uh, this is the unpainted version. They also produced them in painted versions as well. Now, as you can see on the front, there's some very beautiful uh, detailing on, on the front end gates. I mean, look at that. That is, that is really nice, as, as well as the chains. This is very, very nicely done. This model also has no interior details. Uh, none of the models produced of the elevated cars by MTS had interior details. So if you wanted uh, to have an interior for these models, you would have to provide it yourself. I don't think that there was ever a supplemental uh, add-on kit for the interior, so you would probably have to scratch build it uh, by yourself. The trucks are pretty simple. They are nothing uh, too detailed or too complex. And of course, they are uh, a trailer truck. Now, the prototype for these cars were built between around 1881 and 1893. I looked this up in Gene Sansone's book on the New York City subway car equipment and these cars were built by a number of different manufacturers. I believe they were built by Gil Gilbert and Bush and Pullman, probably a few others, but there were many, many uh, cars of this type produced all to a nearly identical design. Now, when the elevated lines in Manhattan started to electrify, like around 1901, 1902, many of these cars, which were all built, I believe they were all built as as trailer cars. Well, they had to be since they were built between 1880 and 1893. They were all built as trailer cars and then a lot of them were motorized. So the prototypes were given motorman's cabs, third rail shoes, marker lights, uh, and other, you know, various equipment, uh, underfloor equipment 
so that they can run on the new electrified system. There really isn't a lot of great detail on this model. Uh, as you can see, there are windows in the clear story on the roof. And there are other details that simulate the wood paneling of the outside of the car. And as you can see, the gold color of the brass really shines and reflects. It's really a very beautiful little model uh, in, in, in its unpainted state. There is some very delicate detailing on the bottom of the car. And as you can see, it has all of this nice brass wiring here. I believe this is all for the brake system. It was a primitive brake system, but I'm pretty sure this was installed on all of the cars. Now here I have a price list from MTS Imports from October 1st of 1995. And as you can see here, the first model that is listed is model number 024, HO scale, Manhattan Elevated L car set, two cars, for $375. I believe that's both a powered car and an unpowered car. Uh, it does not say if it's painted, but probably not. It may not be a painted model. Now, below that... Model number 028, it says elevated car trailer, New York and Chicago, $145. So that is the model that we have right here. So isn't that interesting? A price list that I have from MTS Imports from October of 1995. And I also have the catalog from MTS Imports from the 1990s, which is also kind of interesting to look at as well. So I hope you enjoyed this look at my model of the MTS Imports elevated car from both New York and Chicago. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.